Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back to some Dungeons 3 in today's video. I'm not gonna do like an entire mission or anything like that, to be honest. Uh, these do take quite a long time. But instead I want to uh, show you guys a little bit of the stuff that I've learned while uh, playing through the campaign so far. And uh, a first thing that I've learned is of course that when the heroes can come to attack you, um, and they have two entrances. What is probably the most efficient is to uh, force them towards their second entrance and then to make them go all the way around. That buys you time uh, and you can then of course put... Oh, and what the hell is that? Hero portal, indestructible. Aha, that's the third one. So this is where I would have to put my defenses. Uh, that's actually a little bit more annoying than I thought. So what we'll actually do is we'll give them a massive roundabout like that. Uh, that should work here as well and uh, then we'll just block this off and we'll just lace this with traps uh, as we go along now the first thing that you do want uh, is you want some evilness so uh, I build up my army up to eight and with that have definitely have some of these naga that will heal up here grab everyone and then just go look for the nearest um, resource that you can get for that oh on this level apparently we also have to be at least a little bit careful of the water which is down at the moment so let's uh let's rush in and hope ah that's where the tides are shown okay that makes sense so let's uh get up here and let's rush straight for this evilness island let's hope that i can get everything down fast and easy uh, so that's a big guy that's tanking the the crabs back there. Hopefully he can make it. We need to take their healers out. So we've got these little guys going to damage here. And looks like once she goes down we'll be okay. Uh, in the meantime, some extra workers is always a good idea. And yeah, we need this first evilness island as quickly as possible. The tank here is holding well. These guys will be going down. So that's good. And then we have 2 minutes 30 seconds left. I think that'll be okay. There we go. Let's kill the rest here. And this guy. There we go. And that leaves us a little bit of time to get back. And this gives us a nice chunk of resource. So what I do want to go for first I think are some traps. Uh, because I think that that will become a problem here at some point. Simple traps. I think we'll start with that. And so this is where we have to uh, be careful. Yeah. Fill empty tile. And used it as a direct access to the dungeon. Ouch, that hurts. The arduous route through the overworld. What? Heroes are using a portal into and the ooh, straight away we've got an enemy party. So we're going to send them here in defense of the dungeon hearts. Everybody here and get to fighting, guys. Hopefully they can make it. And then this gets filled up. Now that gives me some room for traps. So I'd say that that's still looking okay. Um, and yeah, that, that evilness is what I need, of course, in order to get going. And these guys are making me these things. That's okay. That's definitely an important resource. So let's start expanding the dungeon. Uh, another thing that I've learned is that you definitely don't want to worry too much about prettiness and things like that. You can just keep going. Uh, you'll find out that you need a hell of a lot of food, for instance. They soon set out to get to the bottom of things, which is to say, the underground. I mean, the dungeon. Gotcha. Uh, and what I will need, if I want to set up my traps, I'll want some room for, which I'll do down here, I think. Uh, I want some room so that we can manufacture the resources for that as well. So here we've got some zombies in defense as well. That's actually okay, I think. You guys grab that gold. And now everyone else is also going to be forced in this chokehold. So there we go. What about uh, minions in research? Yeah, as I've said, I definitely want these traps to get done. And then what's super important actually is to go for that portal spell, which gives you the ability to go outside 
Um, so here they are now. Heroes Enemies at the bottom. The so we can wait a little bit here, I think. And uh, yeah, just get more workers at this point. I think that makes a lot of sense. And then down here, they're doing well. Uh, giving me some room for but it's really important if I want my traps of course stuff like this so we'll start with that um, then they can actually chew their way through all of this as well <laughs> right outside of where the uh, the enemy heroes are but okay and let's see how these heroes like walking through all of my zombies actually so that's where we'll definitely put down our army um, and yeah, really important to have enough of these guys, uh, which are, where are they here? Um, creator mats, because you do need quite a few of these to build, for instance, that Tinker's Machinarium. Like that, we'll put one down here, and this is basically where we'll put more of these resources as well, uh, which means this... So we'll go like that. I think I'll want two and I generally want to have up to four of these at a time as well. Uh, these little guys are forced back, which means that we will start to put my army down here. Awaiting the enemy heroes. And that is the one uh, disadvantage of, um, of all of this. I'm guessing that they are racing for that gold. So maybe I should take that out now and then place that back a little bit later. Hope that these guys here have um, um, give me quite a bit of time. So we'll take you. We'll definitely want these books as well. I think they can be quite powerful and useful. So that's looking okay. You can build that and then we can get started on my traps. In the meantime, evilness is building up, which is good. And yeah, wh where the hell is are these guys going? I have no idea. There looks like they're trying to pick up some gold from somewhere or something. Really weird, but okay. In the meantime, these guys are fighting. Go in and heal. That's good. That one goes down. And did I lose anyone? Not so far. So we've got 200 evilness. Really important as well. The lecture hall. Let's uh, let's grab that. Because some of those researches, researches are really, really important. I guess we can try to put those here. Then ex expand the food production in that direction. That makes sense. Uh, let's see. We'll grab that gold as well. And we'll start by doing this. So that's that. These guys are down. More zombies growing here. That's good. And my guys all survived, apparently. Now let's hope that they don't want to go after that tile. What is Sned doing? He's just making the dungeon prettier. That's, that's what he's wasting his time on at the moment. Okay, so we'll leave this open so that they can do what they need to do. Let's get some more of these little guys for my production. And with that up and running, and with nine of these, I should be able to start putting down some traps. So I am going to try and just basically lace this with these traps. Uh, that's actually a bad place, because the other heroes will go here. I should definitely have started one tile up. But okay, we'll take it um, up here. What was I thinking? I was thinking lecture halls. I think you want... Let's see, we'll start here. Three out of three, and then two of those. That'll be okay, I think. Definitely grab that gold if we can. That mana as well. That's good. And next research. Um, well, I'll go for the brewery. Because in my opinion, uh, iron height is really quite crucial as well. Do I have the portal yet though? No, nope, not yet. So we'll do that. We will do this. That's good. You guys keep going. And I'm guessing that they just don't have a lot of storage room. So let's see if we can create that. Because I wasn't hearing continual work on those. That looks okay to me. And then we've got eight, which means that we'll build second one of these. 
And I will close this off again. Like that. And hope that... Uh, yeah, so the disadvantage of this is of course that sometimes your little workers will go all the way around. Uh, in order to do whatever it is that you want them to do. Or that they decide to do, by the way. You don't really control them that well. Um, so there's there more heroes. Uh, did I... Oof, I closed this just on time. This is more luck than skill. Ooh, that's nice. So we'll definitely take all of that. And uh, give them some more gold to go after. Which is pretty important. And yeah, we'll want a second Evilness Island pretty soon, I think. So I would say after this attack, uh, we'll go back outside. And uh, yeah, after that, now I've got an army. Everything is settled here. Once I've got a couple traps here, that would be really good. Uh, a really good place to keep building up. And what is important here, I personally don't mind that. Uh, because it's actually pretty uh, fun for me. Is You need to turtle up here. You need to be willing to, um, yeah, to take your time. And to, uh, to take everything quite methodically. To a do everything quite methodically. The ranks of the rumor-mongering evil's army. But okay. there was a time-worn ritual site somewhere in the area. Where an ancient evil creature could be summoned. Ooh, that the sounds interesting. Notes evil was extremely interested. And how? Let's expand their living quarters. <laughs> Thanos will be amazed when I face him. And in the meantime, these guys are getting closer. So we're going to redrop our army right here in the middle of the graveyard. Everybody here. Oh, that trap is being carried. I hope I don't lose it. Uh, can I maybe grab this little guy? No. God damn it. <laughs> so I wish I could grab him with the trap and put him behind the enemy heroes. Uh, you need to get back here. Where are my big guys? Uh, aha, now they're engaging. Which means that one thing that is really useful here, uh, I'll go straight for that, too pitiful. Uh, that allows them to work uh, despite the heroes. I think that's your fix for that, so we're gonna do that right away. In the meantime, let's hope that we don't lose too many. That's a good hit. We did just lose something. Hopefully it's zombies. That's okay. And there we go. This guy is now <laughs> going to pour the, put the trap down. You guys keep going. There's a big guy right there. Okay. And, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Something that I always try to get her to four. That usually gives her a nice extra spell as well. And they are complaining for a lack of food. Yeah, we were... Should have seen that coming. I'm definitely not producing enough. So let's get going. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Again, yeah, that's gonna delay me a little bit. At least the first trap is up. Little bit of damage done. Zombies are here. Uh, you can go complain over there, and so can you. Let's hope that uh, that they just stay there and that they will end up fighting. Nope, they're just gonna <laughs> keep going back to the dungeon hard. I need you guys here though. Because there's more enemies. Uh, they put this down to kill one of my little guys. Alright, can I like put that in here? I'm not sure how all of that works. But once Talia comes in, that should be good damage. There we go. That's good damage. And the zombies here. Okay, so this is good. The game actually gave me a very nice uh, early setup. Uh, where the zombies here are basically cannon fodder that do still come back. Whenever the heroes try to do anything. Uh, you guys bring that gold. That's alright. And then with this evilness. What's also... This is really important. And then the upgrade of the food is actually super important as well. I'm going to grab that as quickly as possible. I think 350 um, and we need way more than that so we're gonna keep expanding our chicken farm up here we've got room to build more arcane stuff I would say we have room for some demons so that's good um, 
And in the meantime, yeah, let's go for that second evilness island. But these are the things basically that I've learned, right? Um, try to focus, uh, give create a, a, a path so that you focus all. Yeah, and they're, they're still basically complaining of a lack of food, which is a problem. And more heroes coming in, which is also a little bit of a problem. But let's see if we can stop these guys here. Oh, and now we've got more incoming. So I think we'll use a little bit of mana to make him stronger. And again, complaining about food, which is not good. Um, but it looks like we'll make it. That's good. Uh, so as I've said, create a path for the enemy heroes. Lace that with traps as much as possible. So here I... Um, Let's see what could be useful if we take these two out. I think I can then make an arrow trap. So we'll set that up. And then these guys, I think if you put enough of them down close to each other, that that'll actually start to do some real damage as well. Now we've got more crabs coming and they're still complaining about my food. That should start to get better though with what I've put down here. And since they are still on the overworld, we've got four minutes. One of them is not complaining anymore. All right, let's go after these crabs and then let's take that second evilness island. Um, really important to do as well. And then it's up to you which path you want to take. Uh, I like strong horde myself with lots of naga for healers. And what is really important um, is that you give yourself enough uh, resources. Especially this needs to be doubled. These two, that's generally okay. Although I think that you can use some more. And let's go here. That one needs to go down first. So hurry up. With the zombies as well. Should be good. Um, and then, yeah, turtle up. Build yourself up uh, as quickly and efficiently as you can. But don't forget to, from time to time, do what I'm doing here. Go in the overworld. Mess about a little bit. We'll want to take out these camps and things like that as well. And in case of emergency, what you can always do, use this spell. Portal. Everybody is back and they're back in the dungeon uh, with the dungeon heart. So I'm going to double my production Thanks to these scrolls. That's pretty good uh, And then what I yeah, I think I'll just Be patient enough 350 go for iron height and uh, And go from there, but you can see now that we're slowly building up. We've got some traps going. Can I do a second one? Yep, like that, which uh, will help with my defense eventually. At first, it really doesn't do much. Um, and then we can slowly start to grind out the overworld and keep going. The zombies here, that's definitely a very nice position uh, for our graveyard. And yeah, that's Dungeons 3 after this, you know, just as I've said, keep uh, working your way through the technology, increase your army, increase their strength. And then uh, once you're pretty much at full strength, go up there so i like this turtling aspect and so far i've not encountered any missions that require you to do stuff within a certain amount of time which i personally think is a great plus and um, other than that this is exactly the casual uh, strategy game that i wanted so pretty good i'm having fun and uh, i'll keep uh, going on this mission but for now that's it for this one guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time